Hello friends, in this trick I am going to take up an important problem of quadratic equations, a statement problem in which the condition given is that of upstream and downstream motion of boats. Now see in this question, the speed of boat in still water is given. In upstream and downstream questions, we have two speeds. One is the speed of boat in still water, that is when water is not moving and the other is the speed of the stream that is the rate of flow of the water. So we are given that speed of boat in still water is 15 km per hour. Now we need to find the speed of stream. So let speed of stream be x km per hour. Now see it goes 30 km upstream, upstream motion whenever you need to find the speed of boat upstream, speed upstream then we need to subtract the speed of boat and the speed of stream. This will give us the speed of boat when it is moving upstream. Similarly when it is moving downstream, so speed downstream. 15 plus x. So up, when it moves up, up means against the flow of uh, the river, then the speed reduces. Therefore, speed of boat in still water minus the speed of stream. So the speed has reduced. But when it, it moves along with the flow of the river, then the speed is increased. So 15 is the original speed and x, the speed of stream is added to the original speed. So this is the new speed. Now always whenever we uh, use upstream downstream motion concept we have to apply the formula of time that is distance upon speed. Now this is the formula we need to apply in such questions. So the time is to be found out the found out or given in the question whatever out of these three variables, two will be given. Now see distance is 30 km, it goes 30 km upstream. So the distance is 30 km and distance upon speed is time. So we are trying to find out the time to go 30 km upstream. So 30 km is the distance and speed. Speed upstream is 15 minus x. And similarly, whenever the boat moves downstream and see it returns back. So when it returns back while going the motion is upstream motion. So well, while coming back it has to be downstream motion. So 30 again the distance is same because it is returning back. Now speed downstream is 15 plus x and the total time it is given in the question the total time is 4 hours 30 minutes. 4 and a half hours 4 and a half is 9 by 2 hours. So this is the equation we need to solve to get to our answer. Now how to solve this question? Now see 9, 30 and 30 the three numerators are divisible by 3. So I will uh, cancel that common factor 3, 3 times, 10 times and 10 times and now I will take LCM and then cross multiply. So I will solve it here. Now you see just cross multiply here 10 and 15 plus x. plus this one 10 and 15 minus x upon if you apply the entity a minus b a plus b it is a square minus b square and equal to 3 by 2. So now if you open this 150 plus 150 is 300 plus 10x and minus 10x cancels out and this 2 gets cross multiplied and this 3 gets multiplied with 225 minus x square. So in the next step we have this minus 3x square on this side. This is 675 minus 600. So x square comes out to be 75 by 3 that is 25 which we can write it as 5 square. So x is 5 therefore speed of stream is 5 km per hour which is the exact thing which was 
required to be found out in this question. So a very easy question, just little bit understanding of upstream motion wherein the speed reduces and downstream motion wherein the speed increases and always use the time formula that is distance upon speed. Distance upon speed, this is the time to go 30 km upstream, this is the time to come back. So the total time added together gives us the uh, time which is given in the question 4 and a half hours that is 9 by 2 hours. After that it is simple simplification to get to our answer of 5 km per hour. So friends a very important video for class 9th even 8th class 8, 9, 10 students and obviously in higher classes and competitions you will find all these type of questions. So if you like the video do share it and subscribe the channel.